So I was watching a Chess Dojo video earlier on. They also often talk a lot of sense. And David Proust says this. Me personally, as somebody who looks towards long-term learning and mostly takes on students who are looking towards long-term learning, I recommend to them not to pick an opening, but to play every opening. So what do you think? Do you think we should play all the chess openings, right? I don't think I've ever heard anybody give that advice before. I, th I thought it was quite an interesting point that David was making. What I think he's getting at is, is that by playing all the different chess openings, you're opening yourself up to a lot of experience. You're learning lots of different structures, lots of different patterns, different pawn breaks in different situations. And you know, you're playing open games, closed games, semi-open games. So for, I think for your long-term chess development, trying to you know do a little bit of all the chess openings at first, I think it's a good idea. If overwhelming, but you know, I think I think the idea is you just do a little bit, a little bit of an opening, and then you keep switching around just to get a taste of the different openings. It's sort of what I'm doing when I'm experimenting with different openings, like the Dutch and the Owens thing. I always call it the Owens thing, the Owens uh, defense. And uh, you know, I, what I suggest to myself is play so 200, 300 blitz games in a particular opening, and then do another another batch, another opening, and, and experiment around with it. And obviously, it doesn't mean very going very deep in a particular opening. But what you're doing, I think, is going quite wide, right? You're going quite wide. So you, you're ta tasting everything. You're tasting the Italian game. You're tasting the Roy. Tasting D4 openings. So let's just have a look at what that actually looks like playing all the chess openings briefly. By by all the chess openings, I assume he means all the like the good ones. You know, I don't think he meant all the you know, like playing A4 and things like that, or like trappy sort of openings that I, no no chess player recommends. So I think he's looking at all the main openings. So let's just have a brief look at what that means, what it actually looks like on paper. So from a white perspective, I guess that means playing E4, looking at E4 openings and D4 openings and C4. So if you're looking at E4 openings, then we're looking at a world of chess, right? Uh, so you're obviously going to be looking at things like the Italian game, which I think is a good for beginners to play. Uh, you're looking at the Royal Lopez. You're looking at... You know, playing a sort of the Scotch setup, not a Scotch game. Uh, we're looking at playing well from the four point of view. Obviously, it depends what Black does, but possibly also Queen uh, King's Gambit lines. If we're playing all that's still a good opening. Uh, Risky. I've never played the, the King's Gambit, but it means looking at the King's Gambit. Potentially looking at like the Vienna game, Knight C3. Uh, also potentially Bishop opening. Maybe Ponziani opening as well. I used to play this a little bit, so that's that's quite a look, quite a looking at a lot of openings from from that point of view. And that's obviously just the five openings. We're going to have to play against the French. Should a, should a prospect and that does that mean looking at different variations within each opening so for example against the French would you be looking at uh, you know the advanced setup and you know the exchange does it mean looking at you know the Monte Carlo setup of the exchange right you know, the list it's like endless really the list is it was sort of endless and obviously that's just the french then we've got all the different sicilians we have to play against you know millions of different sicilians it seems uh, and then you're gonna have to learn if you're playing e4 like obviously the scandinavian setups so you're gonna have to learn lines for those like uh this sort of stuff with the, with the g6 you know the, the uh, modern and the owens and you know, to, to play for you have to learn tons and tons of things. So that's quite an awful lot. And that's just looking at white E4. Then obviously we're looking at the Queen's Gambit setups and the slabs and so on and so forth. So that's an awful lot of openings to have to look at. So I imagine that Bruce meant, you know, a little bit at a time, like like my approach with the Blitz, you know, play a different opening, roughly work out how to play it. All right, watch a video for off an hour like I did with the Dutch, uh, and then just play a load of blitz games. Maybe it means that. Maybe it means sort of like a little bit of study, but generally just getting out there and playing the games. Uh, I think I think it's an idea. So I don't know. I, I think it's it's a good idea, and I think maybe it depends on who you are and at what rating level you're at, where you are in your chess development, uh, whether you want to play every single chess opening or not. Uh, I don't know. It's an interesting idea. 
can see his point, but then again, can also see the other side of the coin, where the other side of the coin, where if you're an adult player, especially, uh, you, you know, you're just starting up chess and you've got a limited amount of time, then sticking to a small opening repertoire, I think is probably the best, but maybe doing that after you've experienced a few chess openings. And the advantage of sampling all the different chess openings is you might find an opening that you really, really like. Like for example, I did when I played around with the D3 Roy structure, Right, I was just found this to be an amazing, amazing opening. Right, I'm not going to talk about that again because I've done that too often. But uh, yeah, you might come across really good openings. You might come across awful openings that you just really hate the structure of. You get close positions, maybe you don't like that, and you know what to avoid. But I think there's some merit in it, in, in experimenting with lots and lots of different openings. So what do you think? Right, so if thank you want you. to look at all the chess openings, chess.com's actually got a decent page on this. Right, looking at all the E4 openings at the start, and then we've got D4 openings. Let's say you're interested in the Slav, you can click on that, and it gives you a sort of breakdown of what, what, what the Slav is. Uh, you can play around with it. I imagine you have to be subscribed to get a certain amount of depth going into the... I don't know, let's have a look. Pros and cons. Main lines, let's just click on main lines, see if it lets me do it. Oh, it does actually, so you don't have to be a Diamond member or whatever it is. That's pretty good. Just my computer slow loading that up. But yeah, so this is quite a decent page. I'll put this link in the description. Let's go back to the openings because you've got this tab at the top as well that's got popular openings and then all openings. So you, you might want to go crazy, all right? And you can look at everything. B3 there as well, and experiment with that. And is there a video there or something? That's pretty good. And Lee Chess has got a similar thing as well. You know, you can go through the openings. It's also got this really nice feature uh, where you can click on an opening and you, know, you can read about it, and you can actually train with puzzles from that opening as well, which is quite a good feature. I don't know whether the puzzles rated, where they rated, maybe they rated around your level that you're on the rating. I don't know, but it's got, it's got, it's quite good. So yeah, so that's uh, that's a Lee Chess one, very very similar. Uh, E4 openings. You, know, you click on Kim Pong, Kim Pong games, and then you can go into the different ones. Let's. You've even got Owen there. Look, the Owen thing is there again. So, uh, yeah, B6. Yeah, so I, you know, I've never come across that advice before to do every opening. Uh, it's kind of uh, very interesting, I think, really. I don't know, what, what do people think? Do, you think? do you think that's something that's manageable? Do you think it's just far too big to be able to play every opening? Right, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, I'm going to get off now. Goodbye, take care.